I would say in order to, in other words, if, you know, let's, let's look at a chessboard uh, analogy. So if the people who classify themselves as white are on the white side of the chessboard and they say, wow, wait a minute, some of them on the black side are beginning to understand what we are doing, you know, what racism is all about and white genetic survival. So what we will do is we used to kill black men for looking at a picture of white women. Now we're going to have a strategy where we are going to have a certain number of white females begin to relate and even marry black men. And so we will then produce a mixed race group of people where the mother is white. And we will tell the children, they will be colored children, but the white mother will tell the children, you're not black. And so we will have a black person who looks black, but they will be ambivalent about black. And then we will give these people, mixed race people, certain advantages. So it won't look like we're racist, but... The black, it'll be a black face, but who will be loving and beholding to white people. In other words, the test, well, let me just give you an example in Europe, that when the Semites of the Jewish religion, they were in ghettos and they were emancipated in the middle of the 19th century, and so then they were allowed to go to schools and maybe have jobs that they couldn't have before. And then the Jewish men were allowed to marry German women. And it has been reported that at the point at which you had the highest incidence of Jewish men who were classified as non-white, marrying German women was when Adolf Hitler came to power. See, in other words, it's like simultaneously, if you look at our situation, you will see there are many more so-called mixed marriages at the same time that you have a black president who is being demeaned and degraded and large numbers of black men are incarcerated. So it's not, it's not if you see a system as a whole, so in other words, we can have some mixed race marriages. That will make most black people think Racism doesn't exist anymore. It's just like if we have a black president. We can talk to black people and tell them it's post-racial. And they want to believe that racism has disappeared, so we can just kind of throw a few things up and say, look, see? Look, you can't say we're racist anymore. Look at that. But racism will still be conducted in other aspects of the system. But the black people will be saying because they have been victimized, they want to believe it's gone. So we'll simply deceive them. It's just like giving black people loans. We will pretend that we're giving them loans and then we'll, you know, see that the, the mortgage is destroyed. So it's now you see it, now you don't. But it's still here. At the same time that you may see more mixed-race marriages, you have, what, a law on the book stands your ground. So all of, and then everybody can carry a gun. So the only thing a white person has to say, I was afraid of that black person, so that's why I shot him.